this video, I'm going to show you how to search for collocations in LanceBox using the tool Graph Call. So as you can see, I've already uploaded my corpus and I'm gonna go up to the top and I'm going to click on Graph Call. So before we do this search, let's talk for a minute about what a collocation is. So a collocation is that given a specific word, there are other words that frequently occur close to that word in the corpus. So it could be before or after, but there seems to be some connection between using these two words together. This can help you a lot in looking at language because it gives you a better picture than just individual frequencies of individual words. And it instead starts to tell you a little bit about how words are used together or how words are used in context. In this example, I'm going to take a look at a, a term that's frequently used for flow. So the term this is oftentimes used to help create flow or cohesion in academic writing by referring to something that was previously mentioned and building upon that to add new ideas. This is oftentimes followed by nouns, um, which are called summary nouns. So I'm going to ask the question, in my specific corpus, so in my subfield, what nouns frequently follow this? So I'm going to type the word this into the search box, and then I'm going to change the span here. The automatic setting in LaxBox is that it will look for any word that occurs up to five words to the left and five words to the right. But in this specific example, I am only interested in words that occur with this that directly follow this. So I'm going to change the left span to zero and the right span to one, and I'm going to hit apply. I'm now going to hit search. As you can see, this is fairly common in my corpus. And so the frequency of this is 831 and there are 45 total collocates. You can actually see that the first or most frequent is not a noun, it's a verb. And so I know that in the process of using this in my own writing in this field, that I can use the term this is, that that's a common term used in my field. I can then see what the top five most frequent nouns are. So in my corpus, it's this study, this experiment, this article, this effect, and this issue. This is not to say that I can't use this plus other nouns, but if I'm looking to add some this plus nouns to my article or to my writing, these might be a good place to start. You can also see here that I have a nice visualization of this. So the word this is at the center and words that frequently occur are closer and words that occur less frequently are further away. If I wanted to have a nicer visual because this is kind of busy, there's a lot of results and it's kind of difficult to see the individual words or terms, I could change the settings in my search in order to get a better visual. So I'm gonna hit clear on this specific visual. I'm gonna type in this again. I'm gonna make sure that the span stays the same and I'm gonna change the threshold. So the automatic setting in LanceBox is that a word must occur at least five times next to this in order to show up in the search. I'm gonna raise the standard. I'm gonna say the word has to occur at least 10 times. And I'm gonna hit apply. Now I'm gonna hit search. You can see that the results are the same on the top of this list. It's just that the bottom or the least frequent words are not included. And you can see that the visual looks a lot nicer. So if you get hundreds and hundreds of results, you may want to change your frequency or up your standards in order to see the ones that are the most frequent and to limit how much data you have to look through. Another important thing to think about when using this is that when using the graph call, if you start doing other searches, the view can look a little strange. So I would recommend that when you're done looking at this, if you want to keep it, then go ahead and save it. Otherwise, hit clear, and then you can go ahead and do your next search. If you don't hit clear, sometimes that image or visualization will end up showing up while you're doing other searches and can be distracting. 